right, good morning, everybody. Thank you uh, very much for, for coming today. Uh, thank you for the, the, the build teams, the airport staff teams, and, and uh, the media for, for attending this extremely exciting event, uh, historical event in my mind of the future of this uh, Burlington International Airport. My name is Nick Longo. I'm the acting director of aviation here at the airport. Um, I'm gonna introduce, uh, of course, the very well-known folks behind me in, in just a second. I did wanna just quickly introduce the project, uh, this top-off ceremony, uh, which you see behind us. Uh, the steel being placed uh, um, uh, just within the last few weeks, this left-hand picture over here is what you're going to see this time next year when we are hoping to invite you back for our ribbon cutting ceremony uh, and welcome you to the new facility. Some of these other photos here are what's next in line. Uh, we call this our terminal integration project, the tip project, the tip of the iceberg on what the future of the airport uh, looks like. So again, thank you very much uh, for coming today. I'd like to introduce uh, City of Burlington Mayor Moreau Weinberger uh, for his for a uh, few words. Great, thank you, Nick, and thanks for your service to the airport for many years now and for stepping up into this leadership role and for your work on, the, on this important project. And um, yeah, just to expand a little bit on, on the context Nick just offered, why this um, is such an important project, both for now, uh, it will have immediate impacts as soon as it's open, um, as well as for the future, is that this, this facility has been designed in such a way that as the airport grows and expands, it can be added on to and continue to serve the, the, the security needs of the airport. So thank you for joining us to recognize and, and celebrate this, this major expansion of the Burlington International Airport um, with the construction of this terminal integration project. Burlington's been the proud steward of this airport for 100 years now. Um, and over that time, we've experienced strong support from, from our federal partners who recognize the importance of having a safe, thriving international airport to strengthen our local and our regional economy and to improve the quality of life for Burlingtonians and Vermonters. And, and in a moment, we'll, we'll be hearing from uh, a couple of federal partners, key federal partners, Senator Patrick Leahy, who um, for throughout his, his long career has taken a special interest and in stewardship um, of this facility. And um, we will then be hearing from Chris Nelson, who is the acting federal security director in a, in a moment as well. And, uh, we, we welcome and appreciate your partnership, uh, Nick, on this project. Um, the this project would not be happening. The, the, the way that we are able to make this major investment is as a result of a $14.5 million federal grant award from the FAA. Um, I appreciate the work of the entire federal delegation in this, but especially in particular to Senator Leahy, who again has been a real leader on all airport issues uh, for, for many years. Um, I'd also like to thank the entire talented airport team for shepherding this vision to reality. Um, you know, I, I spent 15 years before serving in this role trying to get buildings built, know um, what an incredible effort that takes from uh, dozens if not hundreds of people to get a, a modern b building built. I know the airport team worked very hard to bring this about and I also want to recognize the, the, the construction trade team that is uh, represented here today, uh, Engelberth, um, who we have done many important projects here at the airport with and elsewhere in the Burlington community, um, uh, is a key partner here, and SD Ireland um, uh, also um, is uh, doing important work on, on this project. The expertise and skill of these teams enable the city to reliably meet the high expectations that Burlingtonians have for, for quality service and best-in-class facilities here at the airport. With each new significant undertaking the city takes on, um, we uh, is also an, a moment to reflect on the challenges the past year and a half that we've experienced as a community, as a country, as a globe, really. Um, we are embarked on this project in the wake of this, this major pandemic. Um, and we see the airport as an important pillar of the emotional recovery of our, our, that our community needs. 
Um, so many of our neighbors have um, had to postpone critical life events over the last year and a half, the opportunity to visit with family, travel, explore, or attend major events like weddings, graduations, births, and funerals. Um, the airport being open uh, again and being uh, with growing uh, employments uh, just about every week. Um, every time we have a, a trip out of here that ends in a re reunion that re represents an important and very much welcome return to normalcy. The, the prosperity of the aviation industry will be essential in advancing our economic recovery. The airport is a hub of commerce, bringing visitors to the city and region, connecting our economy here in Chittenden County to national and global businesses. And the airport is also increasingly a home to many local innovative businesses, such as every, spanning everything from Skinny Pancake to Beta Technologies just uh, across the, the parking lot here. So um, I look forward to being back here for the ribbon cutting and not too long. And knowing that the investment in this terminal integration project will make Burlington make the airport here safer, easier to navigate, and even more welcoming to visitors. So with that, I am uh, really excited that we are, are joined today by Senator Leahy. Senator, thank you for, amongst all your responsibilities, we know how uh, much you have, you're in the middle of in Washington right now. Thank you for being here and being part of this important event. It's great to see you. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you, Moreau. You know, I. Um, We've talked about, the two of us have talked about this airport so much. And, and Nick, when uh, I was leaving home in, in Middlesex this morning, I was saying to uh, Marcel, I remember as a kid coming here and we sort of walked out on the runway and saw people. And uh, I told our, our children I had my first flight when I was... Uh, a student at St. Michael's, you know, growing up in Montpelier, I'd run by the airport there. I walked out on a DC-3, and they were singularly unimpressed other than to say, did they have airplanes when you were that age, Dad? <laughs> uh, so, but I look at how this has grown and changed over the years. I think of the people who have been here you know, I'm back and forth here all the time uh, between here and Washington. I think how fortunate we are to have such a great uh, airport. And this does start, as the mayor says, it is uh, a new phase to improve travel experience, to increase the destinations uh, that uh, you can travel around the country. Most people are amazed to think that we have what's a relatively small area to have an airport which is far, far better than much, much larger communities. Uh, and we will have improvement in the area of security, which will make it easier. Uh, most people worry about going through security. This is going to be a lot easier, I, I think. And it's going to especially help with things like that early morning flight when you're trying to catch it. But then aviation changes all the time. Bigger airplanes, bigger uh, uh, equipment. This will allow us to adjust for it. it will, because as I tell some of these airlines, you come to Burlington, you're going to fill up your, your planes. And I think... Uh, this is going to help a lot. Now, as chairman of the Senate Appropriations Committee, uh, I've tried to make sure that Burlington had a, a seat at the table for a number of years investing in terminals for an airport the size of Burlington International was not uh, a priority FAA. Well, they have seen a lot of pictures of Burlington. They've heard a lot from me heard from the mayor, they've heard from the airport leadership, and talked about it would be nice to change this. And I, I usually raise these issues when they're in to talk about their corporations. And so we're able to secure nearly $15 million to
to make this project a reality. Now that might seem like a lot for an area like this, but the fact is, this airport is so much better than in cities much larger than this area. And so I, I think, uh, Nick, we're going to see more and more improvements. I, I know that. And we'll keep on doing it. Uh, Mr. Mayor, you've, I remember your days when you were on the commission, and, and to this day, everything that's happened and the tremendous people we have who can do the, uh, can do the work. So I know I'm preaching to the converted, but I think people have to be reminded what a treasure we have in the airport here, in Bur the Burlington Airport. It's people, uh, I, I know other senators come up here and they are amazed to have an airport this nice in a small area. They, some who fly into much, much larger cities, the airport's nowhere near as good. So keep it up. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. <clears throat> Since you mentioned the commission, it, w it was a privilege, Senator, to serve on the airport commission. I do want to just point out, especially because he's he's walking away, we, we were lucky to be joined today by Bill Keough, who is the current chair of uh, the airport commission. The commission has been a big part of this project as well. Bill, thank you for your partnership uh, on this. Bill and I have known each other from when our hair was dark and we had more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Senator, thank very you, much. Thank you. Yeah, thank thank you. Uh, I'd like to now introduce uh, Acting Federal Security Director Chris Nelson. Uh, of course, this project, the intent of this project is to improve our efficiencies with security, making sure the passenger experience is what we all expect uh, out of Burlington, Vermont. Our partnership with uh, uh, the uh, federal entity, the Transportation Security Administration, is daily, it's hourly, and Chris is a, a, a huge part of that uh, relationship. Uh, so, Chris, thank you for being here today. Thank you, uh, Nick and company. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Senator. Thank you, Engelberth and uh, friends of the media. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, communicating and fostering relationships with stakeholders within the airport community along with our federal and state partners is crucial, is a crucial element when collaborating on a project of this magnitude. I'm very proud of the partnership that has been built between TSA Vermont and our partners. It has allowed us to successfully work together and navigate challenges in both day-to-day -day operations and large-scale developments such as this checkpoint reconfiguration project. I'm excited to work alongside Acting Director Nicholas Longo and his team as we continue to focus on the mission of providing safety and excellent service to our traveling public. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Uh, and just, just to uh, wrap things up a little bit, I, I too want to reflect uh, a little bit on how we got here today, both with the leadership of Mayor Marone Weinberger as well as Senator Patrick Leahy. I, I reflect two, three years ago working with you and your team on how to make this building a reality. It was not easy. It was not uh, easy for your team, I assume, uh, and for our team. A lot of people, a lot of uh, thought and design went into this building just to be eligible uh, to receive these federal funds. Uh, Senator Leahy's office made that a reality for us. The, the intent behind this building is truly to capture a more secure, a safer airport and a better experience for the traveling public. Uh, there will no longer be two TSA checkpoints there will be one checkpoint, which is this building. There will be additional hold room space, additional seating, additional capacity for potentially new airlines, new entities, new concessions, new future of the airport. Uh, and I'm so excited uh, to present this today, to share this uh, with all of you today, uh, to share this with the incredible airport team uh, who have really made this a reality uh, and made uh, where we are today uh, come to fruition. Uh, this is, no pun intended, a foundation of where we are uh, at the airport. Uh, this is the steel that's going up, the structure, uh, the ability for us to move in to the future uh, and really take off uh, with our projections of employments and passengers and the experience 
to welcome people to Vermont, to the city of Burlington, and of course to this Burlington International Airport. Uh, so thank you all very much. I think we're going to open it up to questions right now. Can yes, sir. I yes, sir. One thing. Uh, Nick, is you, your team and uh, Mayor Weinberger's team been important? I should mention John Tracy, who's the head of our Vermont office, who, who's here. John never lets me forget what, what's needed for this, and he is uh, he is organized with our team of people, with Chris and everybody else, to say how do we how do we get this funding? How do we make it work? It is a team effort, so thank you. Yeah, thank you. So what do we do now? <laughs> <laughs> so I, uh, I, I'd welcome any questions on the project. Any anything uh, uh, for here? What we're going to do uh, after questions is we're actually going to invite everybody to sign uh, this beautiful white beam, uh, this steel beam behind us, which will be uh, constructed into the project. But uh, open to questions right now. Is there a timeline? The question is about uh, um, filling the aviation director role permanently, and it's uh, something that I've been in consultation with the, the commission about, and um, we all have a great deal of confidence in uh, Nick's leadership and, and, ha and are focused on projects like this and getting the work done right now. We've not set a timeline for uh, a permanent search. Uh, we, will, we will do a search before appointing a permanent director. We haven't initiated that yet. And don't have a timeline for it yet. The groundbreaking or topping off was delayed twice. Has that affected the progress of the um, pro project? Not at all. Uh, not at all. So we started right on time, right when our permits allowed us to start. Uh, we made uh, immense progress with the Jacobs, the Engelbert, the Ireland teams uh, to immediately move into this with the hopes of course with topping it off wrapping it up for winter so we can get inside and do some of the interior work in fact one of the things i missed was there are changes inside the existing terminal that will occur because of this project like i said two checkpoints consolidated into one into this building which opens up the north end of our terminal building to new opportunities in the future all that's happening within the next 12 months so we are right on time are there going to the FAA air traffic control yeah. tower there are not uh, there are in our master plan there are thoughts of designing the terminal building to the north this is very very future uh, forward thinking to connect to that building but the tower is not going to be impacted because of that just curious what the demand for flights has been like um, Nick as the pandemic rages on here I know in the summer um, there was likely a rebound with that as the state of Vermont reopened. What are we seeing now with that? I know it's always kind of up and down. Yeah, I, it's, it's really exciting. It's, it's um, higher than we expected it. It's, it's growing faster than we initially thought. Uh, we are working with our incumbent airlines to make sure that they have the, the resources that they need to continue operating. I'm happy to report that all of our routes are back online except for one. Uh, we have mainline air service, which is a larger aircraft that is now continuing their operation over to Chicago. Our percentages are climbing a little bit faster than we expected. Right now we're between 60 to 75% uh, of our 2019 numbers, which was a historical 10 year number for us. Um, but we're also looking at our revenues too, what's happening on that side of things. And we're even greater uh, on our revenue. There's, there's been some tremendous effort, again, on the federal side uh, to help all airports through the country through the pandemic because of those lo losses. Uh, but the, the growth of the passengers, the growth of the, the concessionaires here at the airport, and the, the moving forward of, of each one of those entities um, lets us uh, realize that we are a little bit higher than we expected. You know, I know every single flight I've taken the last uh, few months, and there's been a lot of them, everyone has been full. 
which means we need more planes here. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> why, don't, why don't we do the ceremony pad and then uh, okay. I, I think we could, I could be available for you later. Know, I'll always take your question. <laughs>